hello and welcome back to the channel it's chini here and on today's video i'm going to be sharing or talking about how i got into the online school here in nigeria a lot of people have been coming out to ask me why did i choose to go to an online school why did i choose to set up an online school here in nigeria is there no conventional university and all of that question family friends here on youtube it has been a lot of questions so i decided to make a video about it and spilling it all about why i decided to settle for online school here in nigeria but before i do that let me give a brief background about myself i do youtube as a part-time and i have a full-time job here in nigeria and then yeah that's basically it about me on this channel i share online school learning processes i also talk about um personal development because recently i've been developing myself gradually and i also share that here on youtube you want to hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed support me by subscribing to my channel and if you're already subscribed thank you hit the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will be notified so let's dive right into the video so first thing first is i work with the public sector here in nigeria if you have an idea of the public sector here in nigeria if you are not um, educated or if you don't go to school to a certain level there are certain grades or there are certain positions you cannot get to if you are working here in nigeria so if you're working with the public sector there are certain levels they won't let you get to if you don't have a reasonable qualification or if you don't have a degree let's say you have just a primary school certificate there are levels you yeah. cannot exceed and then if you have a national diploma which you obviously obtained from um, the polytechnic there are also levels you cannot exceed and for me i am presently working with the national diploma what i obtained from the polytechnic so with that there are certain level i cannot exceed so i needed to upgrade myself when it comes to my education so that i can exceed that level and also not just that in case there are other things i want to pursue or there are other things i definitely want to do um, when it comes to building my career so i needed to upgrade myself and i needed to get an additional qualification basically so i started making inquiries and asking questions on which school that will help me achieve this and not also interfere with my job so i didn't want to start giving excuses of um maybe because i'm going to school i'm giving excuses at my workplace and you know there are bosses you work with that definitely it won't go down well with them so i didn't want to be known for the excuse taker if there's anything like that or if there's any english that exists like that or every time i'm in the office i'm leaving at a certain time because i want to meet up with my studies and all of that even if it's a weekend program i didn't want something also that will be so draining that will not let me do other things that i wanted to do so i started asking questions from colleagues that are already in the system and from those who are already um, running a program in a particular school or the other. So I started making my own findings and asking questions. So it was quite a lot and it was quite challenging at the initial stage. But um, a lot of people went for running at a um, part-time program at the university and all of that. So I was like, okay, I was contemplating that before the idea of the online school also came into place and then i decided to weigh my options and make more research ask more questions about it and then when i make that research and asking more questions about it i discovered that the online school was the best option definitely i could settle for so i discovered that and, and apart from that i was also looking for something that will not ask me to go and sit to start writing jam and i was also running away from nigerian strikes if you're a nigerian student you should know that strike is part of the educational system so yeah so definitely i didn't want also i didn't also want strike to be part of something that would delay me or I'll start giving excuses or I won't be able to do other things just because what I'm trying to study, I'm being delayed because of that. So I didn't want all of that. And then when I went to 
Google to ask questions, make more findings about this um, National Open University of Nigeria, which is an online school here in Nigeria. When I said to ask more questions about them, I said I discovered that their certificates were certified. It is um, well known nationwide, and then I could use it to do anything I want to do, like to pursue anything I want to pursue when it comes to my educational career. Like anything I basically want to do, I could easily do it. And also they don't go on strike. I don't need jam to also get admission into the school. So these were the things I saw that really attracted me to it. So I went further by making more inquiries from people who have finished from the school, who have graduated from the school. And then I discovered I guess it's actually what it is. So I decided to apply. All I needed was just my WIAC results and then um, if I'm using NICO, whatever result you are using, either GCE, whatever result you're using, then you can use to apply. I'm like, really? So this was my first step. And the first thing I'll say that attracted me was them, me having to get an instant admission. Like immediately I applied, the admission came instantly. Like once they check, they scan your documents, um check everything they see that all your all the requirements they've listed are up to date and it is genuine instantly your admission letter is sent to your mail then you proceed to the school to pursue other or follow up with other things so instant admission is one thing you are sure of once you are coming to national Open university of nigeria that is online learning here in nigeria and second thing is that like i said earlier on they don't go on strike. Presently, the Nigerian universities are on strike, but we are not on strike. We are constantly, in fact, we are writing our TMA presently. We are doing our test and assessments presently. So they don't go on strike. And you don't also need jam score or you are waiting for any cutoff point to get into the school. No, like I said, it's an instant admission. And another thing is the cost also was welcoming it is not as expensive as i thought it was really going to be like the school fees is quite affordable the affordability of the school fees is another thing that attracted me to the school like the first semester because i'm working i felt like okay i could definitely afford it um even for people who are not working i've met people in the school that are not working they are doing one or two menial jobs to survive and they want to get certificates um to do other things or pursue other things they want to pursue and they are in the school it is quite affordable when i say it is affordable take it from me it's affordable i'm going to do a breakdown of what i've spent so far in the school maybe my next two videos or so just watch out for that video so yeah i'm going to do a breakdown on what i've spent so far and looking at it right now honestly it's really not expensive whether you're doing a master's degree or you're doing um you're trying to get a first degree it is really quite affordable honestly so apart from the affordability for the fact that i knew that i could work and still get a degree was another interesting part of it i'm not compelled to go to any um tutorial centers even though they have tutorial centers to help students who are finding it challenging to study on their own there are tutorial centers to help you but if you can basically study on your own that's fine as i study on your own they also have online classes which they have at intervals mostly during the weekends they have um online classes going on which you can join if you have the data if you have wi-fi you can definitely join those classes it's quite um explanatory and their classes are quite detailed so i'll say that it is your choice to attend whether online classes or tutorial classes if you choose not to even attend any it is still your choice all you need to do is just download your materials when it's time for you to do your test you do your test when it's time for you to write your exams you go to school and write exams you can basically study on your own at your convenience anywhere you like you can decide to study most times when i'm at work i study when i'm at work if i'm not doing anything if i'm less busy i bring out my book and i try to study and yeah it's quite 
very easy and it is affordable i would say honestly then another thing again that attracted me to this school is that it's going to help me grow career wise like knowing the fact that i could still keep my job and then still grow career wise acquire the certificate bring it and then i'll continue growing when it comes to my studies or if i want to pursue my master's degree somewhere else the certificate it is generally acceptable so yeah i'll say these are the reasons why i settled for an online school and initially i really didn't see myself settling for an online school because i felt like it was going to be difficult who is going to be teaching me how will i cope and all of that but when i started it initially it is challenging because you want to know how the school works the system and whatever it is or whatever it will take you to meet up to the standards of the school and you know your capabilities you know what you can do so i was like can i can i not so yeah and after all of that when i started my first semester wasn't really that bad i'm like really is this what it is so yeah so definitely i would say that it is not easy every other school have their challenges same with the national open university of nigeria they also have their challenges but if you look beyond the challenges and all other things focus on what you're looking for i'm telling you the school is going to really give you what you are looking for i know a lot of people have been able to convince to run these degrees because they are scared that i i cannot leave my job and i really want to get a degree and i'm like you can just apply and they are really seeing the benefits of it so that's the reason why i say let me clear the air on why i started an online school because it is more convenient for me it is flexible it is quite affordable and therefore the fact i knew that i could work and learn is something that i could stick around with so if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions or if there's any other thing you want to add or say please leave it in the comment section and i'll definitely check it out thank you for watching this video if you did find this video useful informative educative all of the good stuff please don't forget to smash the subscribe button like my videos check out my other videos i'm sure you're going to find something interesting to keep you and then what else i think that's it thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget be kind to yourself be kind to others stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye